Okay guys, good morning. It is Thursday and today is day one of the mods. We're back here at Tyler's shop. It is eight o'clock in the morning and I'm first in line. We're gonna get these headers installed today and move on to the next project. So I sadly cannot stay the whole day. I gotta go to work, gotta get some things done, but we're gonna leave the car in Tyler's hands. We'll document a little bit of the process, but it will take just about the entire day. So let's get it done. Say goodbye. Goodbye. And just like that, we're back. So it's mid-afternoon, Tyler just gave me a call. The car is done. Now let's go check it out. All right, let's check this out, guys. Ready? Okay, we just did our first check of the headers. They look ace, so good. Can't be happier with the sound. They are stupid loud, and that's just what we wanted. So now we're on to the next step, which is the GT350 intake manifold, the PMAS intake, uh, the 47 pound injectors, and the E85 tune. Let's go do it now. All right, guys, just got the header installed done. Came out great, sounds wicked. Now we're gonna go to the next step, which is to install our GT350 intake manifold, 47 pound injectors, and our PMAS cold air intake. Let's dive in. I did hit 140 here.
Okay guys, we're going through and updating some of the vacuum lines, getting everything compatible. We're just about wrapped up with that process, so now we're moving on to installing the PMAS cold air intake, and then we're going to be all done. P-Mass is in. You can hate on it. It's and Scott's going to go ahead and load the tune. P-Mass GG350 intake manifold and 47 pound injectors. Check. This will take approximately three minutes. Okay. And after checking everything out, it looks like it is fine. So we're gonna go somewhere where we can data log back and forth with Alex, who is... AKA Mr. Yolo Douchebag. So he's gonna be our uh, little bit of a uh, support here uh, on uh, getting this tuned right. So right. shout out to him. Right. So the first thing we're gonna do is an idle log. So go ahead and start. And you don't need to do anything. Let's give him like 30 seconds of idling basically. The next piece we're going to record is a idle slow wrap to 6,000 RPM. Good. Yep. Six. So Alex has cleared us to go wide open throttle to record a log of 2,000 RPM to 6,000 in third gear. And then we're gonna send that back to him so he can make uh, any changes if he sees so fit. So we're gonna go to Mexico. All right, we're logging. Alex just sent a revision to go ahead and get rid of the crazy cold start and also to just dial in the math. All right, we're gonna head over and let this thing rip. Third gear, 2000 to 7700. Start the log? Yep. Good. Let it rip, tater chip. guys we are loading a tune to go ahead and patch for 8,000 rpm revving and uh, we're gonna go do a uh, another watt log for Alex who has been awesome in uh, data logging and tuning here at 10 o'clock at night yeah big shout out Saturday night 10 p.m. 10 30 actually so, so Alex you're the man what you Love guys it. need to do right now is click the little info thing up top or the description and go subscribe to Alex, uh, Mr. Yolo Douchebag, and uh, you might already know who that is. So definitely go subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's been working hard to uh, put out some new videos for you guys. Yep, this this red line's gonna be absolutely nuts. Third gear watt log. All right, we are logging. Let's go for it. Scott, 
So what are your first impressions on this I ship? I am so incredibly stoked with this setup. It rips. Uh, it's probably making about 450 wheel right now. That's what Alex was thinking. And uh, 28 degrees of timing with no knock at 8150 RPM, which is just ridiculous. So we're gonna be able to put, you know, 30, 31 degrees of timing with the 85 and the car is just gonna absolutely eat. It might make, you know, touch 470 maybe. All motor. track <laughs> dude it fucking rips this thing's gotta have and it's on 93 and it's on 93 if we do e85 at the track with a really good you know da and you know, like maybe 50 55 degrees it's trapping over 120 it'll probably trap 120 right now it might i hope so <laughs>
see the marks? No. Oh my god, dude, they're so long. Scott says there's some marks on the road. You see them? These things are long, right here in front of us. Here's first gear. Yeah. Spin, oh, spin, I spin, can spin, see them. Slam second, spin all the second. Oh, yep, yep, I got them. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and that's without boost. So that about wraps it up here. We are full with E85 and pulp jugs. So uh, we're ready for the dyno tomorrow. Okay guys, we're back after a long day of VMP performance, and I gotta say, it's been an awesome day. Chilling here with Brian, Andrew, and Ashley. Ashley's over behind me filling some shirt orders for you all. The PMAS cold air intake was a really easy install, and tuning it was a breeze. It gave us perfect ratings right off the bat. Pairing it with the GT350 intake manifold, the car was a beast all the way to 8K. Of course, the life of the party, the 1 and 7 eighths stainless power long tube headers with cats, they completely change the nature of the car, it's an absolute beast with them. And paired with the Corsa Extreme, you know, cat back, it absolutely rips. Adding it all off with the 47 pound injectors and the E85 fuel and tuned from VMP, it makes great power all the way to redline. So to finish the day, we made 453, 399, and I couldn't be happier with the setup. We're gonna be taking the car to the track very soon and that's really gonna be a true indicator of what kind of power it's making. All dynos are different and it's important to know that. Joe and Alex at VMP, huge shout out to both you guys. Thanks so much. Whether it was late at night or at the shop, you guys were awesome in helping getting the car tuned. Couldn't have done it really without you. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We have a lot of cool content coming as the spring racing season progresses. Be sure to like this video, comment down below, and give us your feedback. It was an awesome build, and we'd love to hear what you guys think of it as well. As always, we'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.